Hey Hey there, welcome back to Gen X Grown Up. I'm John, I am a Gen X Grown Up. Thanks for checking out this video and the channel. A few months ago, we took a look at these mini arcade cabinets from Arcade Classics. I'll put a link to it up there in the corner if you don't remember it or you want to take a look again. And I've been collecting them pretty regularly. I'm up to about eight or nine of them now. And every time I'm in the local Walmart, I stop in to see if another one has been released. I mean, they added Rampage shortly after that new film came out. They came out with a version of Joust that's pretty good. So I'm always checking. Well, I stopped to check the other day and what did I find? Another line of these things. These larger form factor from my arcade. Uh, they're bigger as you can see, and I picked up three of them. I picked up Burger Time, Dig Dug, and legendary favorite, Galaga. I'm really excited to check these out and show them to you, uh, but I wanna mention that they had some really odd choices that I didn't expect to see in these small form factor arcade cabinets. They had Bad Dude, they had Karate Champ, uh, and of course they had a Pac-Man there, which yet again got licensed. I only got these three because I wanted to wait and see what the quality of these are before I decided whether or not I want to go back and spring some more money on the remaining ones. Uh, so without further ado, let's take a look. We've got all three of these to dig into and it remains to be seen whether or not they are worth playing or not, or if they're worth having as collectibles. So uh, I think let's get started with Dig Dug. Well, for starters, I will say that it is gorgeous to uh, look at. Really nice artwork. I like the larger form factor of this guy. So uh, let's peel off the simulated Dig Dug from the face. There we go. A quick look at the outside shows that this is a pretty fully featured uh, little unit. Uh, I can see there's a headphone jack plus a volume up and down knobs here. There's a five volt in micro USB charging. So it takes batteries, which I need to provide. So let's go grab those. So let's see, power, power. Ooh, <laughs> I love the coin door as the power. Look at that. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see if it's worth playing. That's the next question. Oh, wow. That looks pretty good. And sounds awesome. Oh, that plays great. This is definitely not an arcade ROM, but uh, it plays really well. The sound is really good. All the little nuances. Yeah, Puka's trying to escape. Got him. Wow. One thing I'm noticing is that uh, the marquee doesn't light up at all. So this stays dark, which is okay. Not a big deal. It would have been nice, you know, as a collectible, it'd be nice to have the marquee. Whoa. And there's my fruit. Yeah, every time I drop two rocks, of course, the vegetable appears. Let's get that. Got it. Control is not bad. The joystick is a little mushy. Come here, Figar. You're dead. That is quite nice. Let's move on now and check out Burger Time. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's a landscape version of Burger Time. That's definitely not arcade accurate, but... Oh, yeah, but it plays really well. Okay. Eh, joystick's a little mushy, just like before. I mean, you're not going to do competition play on something like this. Come on, get him. Yeah, I have two pepper buttons. I don't have any idea why I would have two pepper buttons. I mean, they do the same thing. Ah, ah, I died. That is a decent burger time. Yeah, okay, we're two for two. Moving on. And Galaga, let's peel our Galaga sticker off. All right, power on. Ooh, it's kind of off pitch. Oh, that sounds kind of funny. But the gameplay is actually pretty decent. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get our ship captured. It's a good version of Galaga. Oh, there we go. Hey, we're caught. Let's get a double shooter. It's a vertical version of Galaga, which I appreciate. If only the music weren't so off. Come on down. There we go. 
<laughs> what is that music? It's almost like the sound chip can't keep up with the samples. It's not that Galaga is that auditorily complex, I didn't think. Oddly enough, even though it is uh, Galaga, the joystick is a four-way joystick, which I, I'm sure just means they, they recycle those joysticks and use them for everything, right? Yay! <sighs> Song is close. <laughs> all right, still, all in all, pretty decent. All right, these are pretty cute. I've got to say, I like the shape of them. They're a little more arcade-shaped. Uh, I think they uh, play incredibly well. They're none of that crappy LCD kind of fake. It's not a true arcade ROM, but again, so why are you buying these, right? If you're buying these for a pure arcade experience, I mean, you're coming to the wrong place. Uh, they're a bit too small for one, of course, and uh, there are lots better ways to get the original arcade experience, but as a collectible, yeah, I think they all play really, really well. Galaga, the sound is a little off, as I mentioned. Um, and across the board, I'm going to go uh, for all of these. I'm going to say four and a half tokens out of five. Uh, I'm glad I picked them up. And so here's the problem. So I said I was going to wait until I saw these to determine whether or not I bought the others. <sighs> I'm the target audience for these things, which is a problem for me because, well, here we go. And now I have all six. <laughs> so I'm a sucker, what can I say? Decent product, I'm glad I got them. They'll go on a shelf. Hey, thanks for checking this out. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Don't you know that you're a grown up? Subscribe to Gen X Grown Up by clicking right here and enable notifications so you won't miss a thing. Use the comments down below to tell us what you think, and while you're there, a thumbs up would be great too. Please share this online wherever you hang out. Connect with GXG on social networks by clicking right here. Basically, life sucks as a grown